quickly run through it. Quickly run through it. You made for your animal a daifen, a wall. The animal is the wall of the sukkah. Rabbi Meir Paisel, Rabbi Huda Machshir. Rabbi Meir says it's Paisel. Rabbi Huda says it's Kasher. Now, I just was thinking, I think yesterday I said that this is the same Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Huda. It's the opposite, right? Rabbi Meir in the Mishnah said it's Kasher, and Rabbi Huda said it's Paisel. Here, Rabbi Meir says it's Puzzle and Vita says it's kosher. Now, it, it's nothing to do with each other. The two machlekes have nothing to do with each other, but I think I yesterday said, oh, it's the same Rameir of Yudah. It's no sheikhs. Either way, Shaya Rameir Aimer says Rameir, called Arvishish Baruch Hayim, anything that is living. Ain't I say, no, you say, you're not allowed to use it. Lay dive in the sukkah, not as a wall for your sukkah, lo lechi la mavui. That is your lechi for your mavui to allow carrying in a mavui. There's a lechi, a vertical beam, a mavui, a horizontal beam, a kaira, horizontal beam. The animal cannot act as that. We'll look at the pictures later. Below you. Possibly be rice. It can act as the wall for your well. Again, this is the type of thing. Rabbi Koges, there's fresh meat here. Tonight is not a night to be saving people that are dying. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Maybe we should send some beef for the heart attack patient. And not a. You're allowed to eat while we learn. Why is no one eating? I can't eat. At least someone else should be eating. Not a covering for the grave. You also can't write on the animal a get isha. So now, whole Mishnah, Brysa, my time, what's the reason to Rameir? Two reasons. Let's hone in right now because these are the reasons that are going to continue with us. Rameir, my time to Rameir. We have a machlaikis. Abayomar, Shema Tomos. The animal might die. Since the animal might die, you're not allowed to use it. We're just going to focus on the animal being a wall for your sukkah. Since the animal might die, it can't be a wall for the sukkah. Rav Zira, Amar Shema Tivrach. The animal might run away. Again, that's why it can't be a wall for the sukkah. Period. So now, says the Gemar, let's speak this out in real life. Bipil kosher. If I have an elephant uphill that is tied up, if that's my third wall of my sukkah, kule al malay pligi, everyone will agree. Meaning, there'll be no machlaikas in this case. Why? Dinami mayis, even if it dies, even if this elephant drops dead, it's still going to act as a kosher wall. Why is it an act as a kosher wall? I, the animal is dead. Yej bin neve la sai. Very good. Yod. Because la maisa, even a dead carcass, the neve la is ten tvachim. So even if the animal drops dead, who cares? It's still going to be kosher. And as well, is it going to run away? No, because it's tied up. So both concerns are alleviated. Number one, it can't run away. Number two, even if it dies, we don't care. Because the nevela of the carcass will act as a good wall. It will be ten tfachim. Ten tfachim obviously being the minimum height of a sukkah. Ki pligi. When is there a mach like es? Bepil she'ein oikasha. Chav, it's the new Gemara. I'm sorry, I didn't give anyone a warning. When is the mach like es? Bepil she'ein oikasha. Six lines from the wide lines. An elephant that is not tied up. Lamanda Amar Shema Tomos. According to the Manda Amar, that it might drop dead. We're not worried. Why are we not worried? Because even if it drops dead, the nevela of the pill of the elephant will be, thank you, still be a kosher wall. But Lamanda Amar Gezima Shema Tivrach. Gezira Shema Tivrach. Kurt Manda Amar, that it might run away. Chayshinan. Since the elephant is not tied up, we have a concern. So the machlaikas within Shita's Rameir. Rameir said that the animal cannot be a kosher wall. Why not? Either because it's going to die or it's going to run away. In what case is there a practical difference between the two Shitas? An elephant that is not tied up. What's the difference? It's not tied up so it can run away. Whereas according to the Manda Amar, they're afraid it's going to die. It's an elephant. So it'll still be a kosher wall. Period. Isn't there a cheska? Cheska, oh, like very good. Good. Fly? Good question. Uh, Surely Stern sent in the same question earlier today. Well, what in the world? All of a sudden we're assuming animals are dropping dead. Meaning, I'm going to articulate your question. The fact that it's going to run away, I hear. You know, when's the last time an animal sat still? A human being for the same matter. Paul is an animal for sure not. But for it to die, very good. Emir Tashem, coming attractions perhaps tomorrow. Let's continue. Says the Gemara, maybe today. Asks the Gemara question. Classical Gemara, 
Whenever we have two opinions explaining one opinion, Abaya and Rav Zera explaining Rav Meir, Rav Meir says the animal's a puzzle wall. The two reasons why it's possible either it's going to run away or it's going to die. Why doesn't each opinion hold of the other? Which Ramayish is sort of going to hone in on your question as well. Let's just speak it out before we see it inside. According to the opinion, it's going to run away. What about the concern it's going to die? According to the opinion, it's going to die. What about the concern it's going to run away? Meaning, why do they hold of their concerns? It's very nice that there are two different reasons, but what's the impetus? Where is the crux of their machlaikas? So the Gemara is going to speak it out both ways. Laman to Amar, four lines on the wide lines. According to the opinion, Gezer Shematamos, they're afraid that the animal is going to die. Why is he not concerned that it's going to run away? Nechosh, let us be chayshish. The nun is let us, is the we. We should be suspectful. Be chayshish, the chashash. Shema, perhaps, tivrach. It's going to run away. Says the Gemara, I'm asking to you. Ella, so now we're going to retranslate in what case the machloikes is. Because the Gemara doesn't like that if the elephant is untied, everyone should be worried it's going to run away. Why, according to, a bayah might die. Shkoyach, what about the fact it's going to run away? Why aren't everyone concerned for that? So Ella says the Gemara, you're right. Bipil she'in kosher if the elephant is not tied up. Kuli amalei pligi. Everyone agrees. What does everyone agree? That it's possible. An elephant that's not tied up, why is it possible? Because... I, it's going to die and there still will be tent for him. Who cares? We always have to be worried about the fact that it might run away. Everyone's going to agree. So both Abaya and Rav Zira within Rav Meir are going to hold if the elephant is not tied up. It's possible. Ki pligi, when is the machlaikes? Bebehema. Behema, meaning not an elephant. Choose your animal of liking. Let's go with cow, just for the sake of the pictures. Cow. Kshura, that is tied up. So now, let's explain. Says the Gemara in the last narrow line. According to the man, we're afraid it's going to die. And when it dies, is a regular animal, when it dies, going to be a kosher wall? No! Why not? Because it's not so large. An elephant that drops dead, the mass, the animal body itself, will function as a wall. But a little, little cow, when a cow drops dead, it's going to flop to the ground and call tough. So says the Gemara, Laman Damar Gzeir Hashem Atamos Chayshinan, we're worried. Laman Damar Gzeir Hashem Ativrach, Loi Chayshinan. Why are we not worried it's going to run away? Because the cow is, what's the case? Tied up. Very good. Period. So that's the case of Machlekes. Now the Gemara says, Shkayach, you only answer the question one way. Now let's flip it the other way. It's a lot of reading, but if you think about it, it's beautifully logical. First, why line? Gemara says, Ulaman Domer, Xer Shem Tivrach, Nech Shem Tamos. Shkayach, it's tied up, so it's not going to run away. But why are you not concerned it's going to drop dead? And here we're seeing, Ramayish, that what's the Xer Shem Tamos? It's more of a halachi concern. Because we're, we're asking, everyone should hold it's going to die. What do you mean everyone should it's going to die? Why are we consuming it's going to die? Chazak is the one that we're going to have to eventually get to. But here we're seeing that it's just a regular concern. Maybe it's going to die. Ask the Gemara. Everyone should hold of that. Says the Gemara, your answer. Two lines. Misa Shchicha. Period. Okay. So, so far, we have a case in which the Machlekes exists. What's the case? A animal. A non-elephant. What's a non-elephant? Let's go with cow. cow. I was thinking monkey this time, but we'll go with cow. Let's go with cow. And the monkey's crowd a little bit too small. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's go with cow. A cow that is not, that, excuse me, that is tied up. So we're worried it's going to drop dead. We're not worried it's going to die. And if we were to say, to explain well, what is the crux of the machlekes? Whether Misa is shchiach or not. According to one man, we're afraid it's going to die. According to the other man, we're not afraid. What's the ma- and the Gemara said, why not? Oh, because Misa is Misa is not common. It's not normal for an animal just to drop dead. So it comes out, the machloikas, the debate right here really is, is death normal or not? Beautiful. Asks the Gemara, two lines into the white lines, according to the man, that your cow is tied up. We're saying it's a good kosher sukkah wall. Everyone envision a cow. Can you throw me a picture book, please? Everyone envision a cow. It's on the bottom of there. Everyone envision a cow. There's space 
Debeni beni. There's space between the legs. How could your cow be a kosher sukkah wall? But you got a big gaping hole between the legs. Here it is. Chavra page. Pay. I can't see what this is. Pay chas 88. We're going to show it over here for the computer to see. Hopefully, ambulance driver, please be careful. So the, the truth is this picture is misleading because it's the Gemara's answer. But in a cow, there's space between the legs. So why isn't that space considered a hole in your sukkah wall and it's a puzzle wall? Let's see the answer. The picture is really showing the Gemara's answer. Answer is the Gemara to Ovid. What? Oh, no. Disaster. Okay. Apologies. Okay. That was... Uh, okay. Apologies. Vaika, through this. Okay, well, we're just going to go two more lines and then we'll, we'll catch up. Vaika, Ravcha, Debeni, Beni. Ask the Gemara, what about the space between the legs? Answers the Gemara, to Ovid, lay, Ovid, you make. To Ovid, lay, you make for it. Behutza, which are palms. Vidafna. And, what I bring over here? Bay leaves or something. Another type of tree, a leaf. What does that mean? What does that mean? Now you can look at the picture. It's hard to see. Oh, it'd be, it'd be, look at the picture. Yeah, exactly. You basically plug up the legs. You just show the picture. That's what I'll show them over here. You plug up the legs with uh, something between the legs. Take sticks and you plug it up between the legs. You see over here, the cow is tied up. If you're wondering how you tie up a cow, now you know. I was thinking other ways. Apparently, this is the right way to tie up a cow. And there's something between the legs. Says the Gemara, one second, maybe the animal is going to bend down. It's going to bend down and now it's not going to be a tall enough wall. Rav all literally means to crouch. It's going to bend down. Answers the Gemara. That's why we got the picture and tied it up this way. It's pulled up very good. It's pulled up with cords. From the top. And we're going to stop with that. So what does that mean? That we have a cow that's being held up with the guys who can't bend down in between the legs. It's plugged up with hoots of a daf, no, schach material to create a good wall. Let's stop over here. Let's get a good chazar chavar. The Gemara is about to get hard. Um, maybe tomorrow. So let's make sure we have this, uh, we have this nice and clear. So let's get a good chazar. We have two minutes to my